Hey guys, this is Billy. Welcome back to the Living Waters Farm. This is the October, end of October, 2022 update. So, I hope everybody's doing well. We've been getting a lot of stuff done here in preparation for the winter. But I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna start with what's going on new in the backyard. Well, Hi Zoe, hi Doobie. So we've been working on the koi pond, I've been digging. We've been having issues with flooding and mudding, mud all over the place. So I'm doing a little trenching, trying to bring the ground down a little bit so that the water doesn't puddle up on the yard and it's all gonna come down into the koi pond. And we're making some progress. I got a lot of work to do. I'll be digging this by hand, slowly, but that's gonna be really awesome when it's done. But let's get on to the good stuff. Here's an enclosure I've got set up for Bucky. We'll see if we can get some. There we go. Nice, comfy enclosure there. That's gonna eventually be my mini Rex breeding enclosure. Uh, there's Petey Pete over there. He's over here guarding the babies. I've got a couple of roos here, red-eyed whites. I believe they're both males. They're from the same litter. They still get along and uh, they're probably three months old. I assume they're both male, but they could be male and female. There's Bonnie. That is my female mini Rex. And she just recently had this litter. You can see some of my other videos I've got them actually nursing. Nope, they may want to, they might pop out and say hello, but I think they're snuggling back up for their nap. Let's put them back in there. There's other videos that show more of the babies. We okay. got Bonnie over here eating watermelon. Hi, Bonnie. <coughs> and Doobie saying hello to his children that live next door here. He's got a son and daughter that they adopted from Zoe's litter last year. But all right, so that's that. Well, yard's still very much a mess, but. We've got this really awesome enclosure. We call this Thump Tower. We've got our owl up there protecting our rabbits. All right, then I've got this. Here's another enclosure. This is what we call the back nine, just because it's the back nine inches of our yard. Actually, it's back probably nine feet, but <laughs> whatever. We've made it into the chicken run. Right now, we got a pile of leaves composting. This is where we keep our ladder stored. My father-in-law used to be, a, he had a siding business where he was siding, putting vinyl siding on people's houses. And those are the ladder, ladders that used to be used for it. He has since retired. We got these feeders set up. Real nice. This works out good. One of them's got the Leanna feed. The other's just got some chicken scratch that they all like to, to eat. Our chickens have been laying eggs for us, an average of four to six a day. We have six chickens that are layers. We usually don't get six a day. It's pretty standard to get four, maybe five. The leghorns don't lay every day. They lay one each every few days. Uh, these here, this is my golden comet. I got two of those. They lay every day. They're probably the better chickens for that purpose. And uh, these leghorns, while they're usually good layers, these particular ones, I believe, were intended to be meat chickens, and uh, I have two of them. We may be harvesting them soon. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know. Uh, right here, here we back, back out. 
There we go. So I've been working on this today. I'm installing another rabbit cage in here in the run. And this is gonna be for the next litter of babies that pop out in this run. And I have a tunnel. There's a tunnel the rabbits have made up underneath the tree, uh, underneath this shed here, which we call Cluckingham Palace. They may have a litter of babies under there. I'm not sure. We won't know until they come out. But I do have a litter of babies in here in the hen house. That's Henrietta. She's one of our cinnamon queens. She usually lays every day. She's probably the loudest, most annoying of them all, but as long as she keeps on that, that laying every day, we're good. Oh, here's, here's one of the uh, leghorns. This is actually a rabbit cage I've got set up here. The door's just wedged open, and she likes to come in here and <laughs> relax. Apparently, it's a nice spot. And uh, here's where we have another litter of babies. So there's uh, seven, I believe, in here. Might be able to just make one of them out. There's one right there. Yeah, I see them moving around a little bit in there. But yeah, they're back there in that corner and they're not quite ready. They're still oh, about three weeks old. So I have either 12 or 13 babies right now, plus whatever might be underneath the palace in the dungeon. <laughs> uh, we joke and call that underneath the the palace there, Cluckingham Palace. And of course we got rabbits, keeps some of their babies on, in the dungeon underneath. It's just a joke. There may not even be any babies under there anyway. I have no way of getting under there to know. So I guess we'll find out if they start poking their heads out here in the next week or so. But that pretty much is it. Um, that's all that's really new. Nothing new really with the fish tanks or any of that. I've been mostly focusing on the rabbits for the last couple of months. We already sold our first litter of them, except for the, I got three left over, but we'll find homes for them eventually. Not worried about it. All right, well, that's about it for this video. October, 2022 update. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.